Okay, everybody, welcome to week two of the guest host search for Eric Rasner's hot seat. We have a new victim in the fourth chair this week. Uh, this is going to be Kurt. Say hi to the folks, Kurt. Hello. All right, so we're off and running. Uh, I love going to the movies. Yeah. Yeah, it looks bigger happens. and sounds better. And I like to cheer with friends and shit. There's some, like, I like going to see action hey, movies. The reason I don't go see movies very much is because there's always been some asshole like having a conversation behind me. <laughs> well, I don't, I'm not advocating that. Like when I saw 28 weeks later, there was this f- just fucking a-hole just to the left of me. just kept talking. Like there, there's a part where it pans over some molding and mm-hmm. you see like a bust of some guy. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, it's the Quaker oatmeal guy. <laughs> and I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Why are you talking yeah, during this man. movie? When it's going to be a big one that I'm really psyched for. Because there's yeah. like a shared communal feeling there. And I dig that. It's like a sporting event, but... Like you know. Twilight. No, not for me. But yes, <laughs> for some people. I'm not that gay or that 14 that I could get into Twilight. There are people who freak out over the Harry Potter movies. My nephew's one of them. But, I don't get it. But you but know, Twilight could get into you. No, it couldn't. <laughs> it really couldn't. Could just creep it and you know, you know, it really couldn't. I am Twilight proof. I am one hundred percent Twilight proof. Yeah, I'm Twilight positive that that's true. Right. No, it, it really couldn't. I could be affected by it, and then I might go to prison for killing Twilight fans. <laughs> that could happen. And that, in that like sad it. sense, that would take a lot of a lot of garlic and wood. And... <laughs> no, that's the best part. It wouldn't. Like I want, you know, the, just once to a guy who's all twilighted out, like glittered out. <laughs> no, you just want to be like. I will write you a $10,000 check. All you gotta do to cash it is let me shoot you in the head once. If you can stand up and cash that check, it's fucking yours, vampire boy. No, I, I believe you. I think you know, I, I bet you're right. I bet you are a vampire. Let's find out. <laughs> but they never take that bet. Pussies. Someone might. Someone Wouldn't might. that be awesome if they did? That'd be so rewarding. He'd be so mad when he didn't pop back up, too. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. Like, he just knew it in his fucking heart. He but was. Glitter. <laughs> but I, but I oh, read that's it. right. You spent three hours putting that on you in the morning. So. <laughs> Not superpowers. <laughs> Say it out loud. Say it. Vampire. Are you afraid? Tim, interestingly enough, believes that he's not dead. I don't mean... Like, he says that to be funny. He truly doesn't believe Brandon Lee's dead. Like, he faked it? Or yeah, like... absolutely. Okay. Because he says it's too much like Game of Death and Bruce Lee's death. It had to be, like, whatever the danger was for Bruce Lee had to have gotten to Brandon, too, so he's off on an island with his dad somewhere. And he really believes that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, he, and, like, he'll give you that indignant explanation. Do you know what I mean? He's killed on a movie set, filming a movie. Like, his... no, no, come on. And you're like, um, yeah. <laughs> and that they both died on a movie set? Yes, Are they Tim. both hanging out with the guy from Voyager? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what? That's, hmm. Okay, how about what Tim left this week? With absolutely no fanfare whatsoever. And I, he was just gone one day. Huh. He's just gone? Yeah, Portland, apparently. Hey. Losing a lot of people to Portland. Yeah, no kidding. They just, mm-hmm. black hole of Portland. Well, it's growing. Aaron's black hole wasn't Portland. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I didn't really mean it like that. But oh, no, you were talking about pegging. I know. <laughs> no, I really wasn't. And now I've just inadvertently slammed the shit out of his girlfriend, too. Yeah, no, she Which slammed you... the shit out of him in that, <laughs> in that theoretical scenario. <laughs> ah. mm. Oh, hey <laughs> There. There's only love here, let me tell you. <laughs> wow, man. During during a replacement host episode, Tony still managed <laughs> to tag him in the back. <laughs> like, uh, one more for no, all no, time's it's, sake. It's, it was just for the sport. Daily boys all loaded up our guns, went out to do some hunting and to have a little fun. Hey, how was your St. Patrick's Day party, man? Uh, <laughs> St. Patrick's Day was good. It was, uh, I didn't do anything. Yeah, I, I have no Well, see, now, for, years, so now you're a pro partier. So it would seem to me, though, I don't have any evidence to back this up. But for you to go out, just how it strikes me, on St. Patrick's Day or Cinco de Mayo, would be like amateur hour. 
I mean, like, it's like a good hard drinking festival that results in A, a brawl, or B, a rock band. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's just Friday in Tonyville. Okay. So when the amateurs come out to play going, ooh, it's, then you're like, fuck that. I'm not, no. Uh-uh. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a little patronizing to see them right. try and do it. Right. So you're like, I'll, I'll stay home with a little jukebox hero. Yeah. <laughs> not that I would know. You wouldn't. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. Those those aren't the correct blinds. I've got <laughs> I've got curtains over my windows. Okay. You can imagine my disappointment. Whack full the Dario. Whack full the Dario. There's whiskey in the jar. Are are we allowed to do that? Just claim people are our sponsors. Yeah. I think why not? Yeah. It's not. We don't get anything from them. <laughs> we're giving them free advertising. We're not taking anything from them. Yeah. No. We're not. But when we say something that's. Highly offensive, and then claim that they're backing us. <laughs> Is, are you sure that's legal? Uh, no. Oh, okay, good. No, not, not at all. So Lock Young's has yeah. got our back on this. That's all I know. <laughs> not at all, but I mean, we like the chicken. Beating, beating handicapped and beating yeah, that midgets. <laughs> creeped out by midgets. That's all Lock Young's does. Midgets are fucking creepy. <laughs> they are. Oh my god, they are. <laughs> But Lockyon's Lock still... Let's not be acting like we just pulled that one out Lock, from nowhere. Lockyon right? still serves them, so... Well, they have to. Good props on Lockyon. They don't have to. They have the they right to refuse to service to anyone. I agree. As a theoretical mental legal exercise, you have the right to refuse service to anyone. You see how much press climbs up your ass if you simply refuse to serve a midget for being a midget. You just see what happens. There's protesters. There's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of midgets around yeah, here. Yeah, in Eugene. People in Eugene, show like, signs. You're in Eugene, Oregon, baby. All they Serve need the is a cause. People. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to get crazy going nuts. It is. It will be the half Service is service, no matter how small. <laughs> <laughs> half million people, nice. Uh, oh. Boom. We shall overcome. Eugene wants, I remember... Like had a huge protest when I was a teenager to declare Eugene a nuclear-free zone. And I'm like, well, that's awesome. How much do you think Russia cares? No, oh, dude, we can't target it. Why? They're nuclear-free. Uh, it's like the most meaning... And, but, and see, the only reason I, it pissed me off was we're talking thousands of people and marchers and stuff. And I'm like, put that towards something that could happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you got a good energy going there, but let's work on something that's... Plausible Let's and get some focus. matters. Let's get some focus. Right, but it was like nuclear free UG and bumper stickers and shit. Yeah, it was it was awesome. And I just I just kept getting the image in my head of like Dimitri and Yvonne going, It's cannot target this <laughs> nuclear free zone. <laughs> It'd be great if it worked that way. Wouldn't it? Like woohoo, not us. Hey, when the missiles fly, it wasn't us. Kansas, I can take them out. <laughs> I'll fucking drive and show you GPS. I'll show you right where this. It's fucking they're, everybody they're knows. I, I, I don't think you understand. We called not it. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, not it. <laughs> nuclear, not it. Why are you still shooting missiles? That's a good party game. Not nuclear, it. not it. The yeah. problem is, is that Kim Jong Il you know, takes power in North Korea at some point. Yeah. There you go. And then how crazy man has nuclear weapons? Because <laughs> I mean, I love him as much as anybody else does. But God damn, he's a crazy little fucker. He's like a crazy midget. <laughs> Now, have you heard some of the shit this guy's pulled in his life? My favorite to this day is he kidnapped a South Korean movie director. Do you know why? So the guy would make him a movie. That's it. Threw him in jail in North Korea until the guy made him a movie. And the movie was about a robot. <laughs> that started life as a toy, but the more people believed in the power of communism, the bigger the robot got. Until it became Godzilla-sized and stomped over South Korea. And Kim Jong-il wrote that movie. Brilliant. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. I'm, yeah. No, that, that, that shit happened. My faith in that man is shattered. <laughs> How can I follow him now? <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> Tony just started. But you know what? So he's the same. Yeah, he's right he, he, lost, he lost one but gained another follower. So, uh, but, uh, you know, he's made a movie, which is more than we had done. So you that's, know. that's true. How many laughs was in the robot? <laughs> I have yet to movie? see it. At least two. I have <laughs> seen it. Sure. Well, you'd hope, right? It is a movie. So there well, be the two premise movies. alone, there should be one laugh. So. I'm so lonely, so lonely, so lonely and sad real.